especially being British, there's a problem. Americans have a problem with you uh, peppering a sentence with swear words. Yeah. Uh, Daniel Sloss has a fantastic bit about this. He's good. Where he's pretending to play the drums and each different part of the drum is a swear word. And he says, as Scottish people, it just come, it sort of falls out of you very, mm-hmm. very quickly. Uh, whereas with Americans, it's you are, apart from maybe the comedy world, much more sort of uptight around profanity. There's still yes. a, a big concern. I mean, I used the C word on wow. my- It's a on, different thing here. On my- <laughs> It's normal in, in England. Yes. Here it's heavy duty. It's Yeah, it's a real weapon of mass destruction. Yeah, oh there's yeah. No, there's no other acceptable, unacceptable, more unacceptable, acceptable word. Like you, yes, after yes. after that, you're onto the N word. Exactly. You're into real no man's land territory. Yeah, you call a woman a c- then it's it's fighting words. Yeah, it's game on. Whereas you call your friends that in the UK. Yeah. Like, the, 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 so yeah, it just learning recentering the scope of my linguistic usage and realizing what words are in and what words are out and what I can say and what I can't say. Yeah, yeah, we do we do the the f word a lot. It's all a buffer. It's all like I'm trying to think of something, so I'll what's the name of that fucking uh that yeah. drink you sell and it's it's not good and it's comics use it too much. The problem now is the word like. This is like an American epidemic. This is a real problem. You watch like Gen Z and all these people Everything is like, you know, you watch a Candace Owens or something go yell at a college kid. Yes. And they're going, well, like you, you said like, uh, you were eating and it's like, no, no, not like she was eating. She was eating, yes. but they, they fill it with like, and it's so fucking frustrating. You sound dumber. It bleeds into everything. I had a, a really great conversation two years ago with a, a linguistic analysis lady and she was explaining what's going on here. And they're referred to as filler words. Yes. So, Found this out. This is fantastic. So, um and uh are two different use cases. Mm. People will um and uh at different times. Uh is knowing what they need to say, but searching for the word Okay. more commonly. And um is trying to work out the direction that they actually want to talk in. The reason being, if you were to just open your mouth and make a noise of talking, what you end up with is something like, uh... Like, it's that. It's just the noise of, you use a MacBook and it's got that spinning yeah, colored yeah. wheel. It's the spinning colored wheel of linguistics. The Mitch McConnell, uh-huh. we call that. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Perfect. Um, that's, it's a holding pattern. Mm-hmm. And like has come in to say, it is something approximating this yes. thing that I'm yes. about to say. That's what like is. Mm-hmm. But it's also been used as a filler word and it's it's taken up both of those. Yes. Which is why the frequencies increase so much. Great, great point. Yeah, because it it is a useful word. This tastes like chicken. Yes. So now we're going, okay, it's similar to chicken. Correct. But everything has become, I was reading like a book. <laughs> no, you were reading a book, you idiot. You were reading the Quran. Uh, like just say the book. I, but it's just a filler. Yes. But you're right, it's a filler and it's a, the other thing you said. Here's a second uh, swearing study that I thought was brilliant. Repeating the F word can improve threshold for pain. I've heard that. During an ice water challenge. Recent study found that repeating the F word during an ice water experiment increased subjects' tolerance and threshold for pain. However, reciting made-up swear words showed no such pain-reducing effects. Numerous studies have shown that the use of swear words can strengthen pain tolerance during an ice water experiment. UK researchers Stevens and Robertson set out to explore the mechanism behind this pain relieving effect in a unique way. A team of specialists invented two new swear words mm. with properties similar to known curse words. They then tested the invented words on a cold presser experiment to see whether they would mimic the pain reducing effects of known swear words. One theory suggests that the swearing produces analgesic effects through autonomic arousal caused by increased emotion. So you're basically distracting yourself from what you're feeling by increasing the emotion inside of you. It's like getting angry and then punching someone. Something. Right. To explore this idea, researchers chose the made-up swear word "fouch." Ah, selected for its em- fouch. Yeah, what a fouch. <laughs> selected for its emotion-provoking potential. Another theory suggests that swearing alleviates the pain by distracting attention away from the painful event. Researchers accordingly chose the second made-up curse word "twizpipe," 
for its Ooh. potential to evoke distraction <laughs> through humor. So ah. Fouch and Twizpipe don't work as well as just screaming the F word if you're in pain. That makes sense. But Twizpipe sounds like a, a, a slur for British people. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it? These fucking twist pipes over here. Yeah, a little bit. I don't know. It's fascinating how language gets sort of used and abused. And I was thinking, as I often do when I wake up first thing in the morning, was thinking about the N word. And I, <laughs> it's so... What, what had I seen? I'd seen Derek Poston uh, doing his podcast. Mm -hmm. And I think they're playing, it's kind of like Wheel of Fortune, but it's called Who's That N-Word? Ah. And they show, oh, I did it. Th they put it up on the um, on the screen and then they've got a guess. Is it all black people? Yes. Okay. And uh, I was like, it is absolutely why, and it's just the most liberal use yeah. of that. It's every, it's the uh, saying, like smattering a word with fuck. Right. Like, or like, it's that. But, and I just thought, it is so insane that we have this. It's fascinating, isn't like, it? Boundary around that yeah. particular word itself. I know. I blame slavery. It's the only reason that it could be this powerful, you know, because obviously it's silly. I grew up, I went to public school and all my black friends would be like, come on, say it. And I was like, I'm not saying it. I'm like, come <laughs> on. And then, then eventually after an hour, you'd say it. And they were like, ah. <laughs> so it just proves like okay you can exist with a white person saying this word and not lose complete control and beat the shit out of me but it is it's just something about that word it's just garnered this because people used to say it on the news and stuff in the 90s no way oh yeah they'd be like uh they'd be reading like a police report and and they the the man said to you know and it was just like, you couldn't say it at somebody, but you could still say it. Reference it. You could still reference it, and now you can't even reference it. Wow. Yeah, and that, that talk about empowering. That's the ultimate empowering. By the way, another thing white people invented, the <laughs> N-word, but uh, and black people took it and made it cool, <laughs> but uh, it is empowering. That, that is empowering, like using it, only you guys can use it, and you can't, and if you do, we get to fuck you up. We'll get back to talking to Mark in one minute, but first I need to tell you about Manscaped. If you're still using an old face shaver from four Christmases ago to trim your gentleman's area, join us in the modern world. There are purpose-built tools for the job and the Manscaped Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra is exactly what you need. It's got a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents, a 90 minute battery, which can help you to take a longer shave, waterproof technology so that you can shave in the shower and an LED light, which illuminates grooming areas for a closer and more precise trim. Or if you're just a particularly crevicey person that likes to do it in the dark. More than 10 million men worldwide trim their most precious area with manscaped and you can join them or if you need to get the man in your life a gift or if you just need to hint at them that perhaps they're a little bit hairier than you would like them to be this is the perfect socially acceptable gesture also there is free shipping worldwide plus a 20 percent discount if you go to the link in the show notes below or head to manscaped.com slash modern wisdom and use the code modern wisdom at checkout that's manscaped.com slash modern wisdom and modern wisdom a checkout thank you very much for tuning in if you enjoyed that clip with mark or at least weren't too offended you can watch the full episode right here by pressing right here <laughs>